Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Thank you if you've already subscribed, really appreciate it. Decided because we've started to get a lot more subscribers to actually increase the number of videos we make per week. So currently we're trying to aim for two per day. Now we're gonna aim for three per day. So that's 21 videos per week. Now as we get more and more subscribers, we're gonna to aim to increase the number of videos we make per day because of course some of you are into different things. Some of you are into BYD, some of you are into Tesla, some of you are into battery technology, some of you are into Chinese cars, what's happening in that space, some of you are into European EVs. There's all different segments going on here and I want to try and give you as, basically give you what you want to know about. So that's the aim. Now, Elon Musk has just said that this quarter will be the craziest month of, or well, the craziest quarter, craziest end month of the quarter for deliveries that Tesla will ever have. And he is lying. I love Elon Musk. Don't get me wrong. I think Elon is a legend. I know there's many of you out there who hate him. You think he's a snake oil salesman. And I think a lot of you envy him and you're a bit jealous. I think that's true. We all have the tendency to hide our jealousy as spite. But moving on, that aside, Elon Musk is wrong. And I think he knows he's wrong because... There is zero, and I mean zero, 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 zero chance that this will be the craziest month ever for Tesla. Remember, Tesla has the Austin, Texas Gigafactory, right? It's going to be the biggest Gigafactory they've built. It's going to be producing an enormous number of cars. That's coming online within the next few months. In addition to that, Tesla has a Gigafactory in Berlin coming online in the next few months. In addition to that, next year, I'm sure Tesla will have more Gigafactories going up. That is their plan. I'm sure right now they're just scouting locations, maybe even in the process of making offers to buy more land. Who knows where? Let me know where you think their next Gigafactories are going to go up. I think there's a very good chance that there will be another one in Europe. I also think there could be one go up in a place like Indonesia. But who knows? It's all speculation. I don't think there will be one in India. I know there's a lot of a lot of articles. I've even made a video about India, a gigafactory in India, but I don't think that's going to happen for at least a couple of years. I think there'll be others in other places first. The craziest month for Tesla when they're going to have they're going to be shipping out twice as many cars this time next year. How could that not possibly be crazier? Well, Musk actually said they're trying to stop their draining end of quarter delivery pushes, but he expects a big one this quarter. Tesla is known to have intense end of quarter delivery pushes due to its distribution system, which is very different from other automakers that use third-party dealerships. Since Tesla sells directly to customers, the automaker owns the vehicle until it is fully delivered to the buyer and fully paid for. Now, this results in transit times being extremely important for Tesla financially since the automaker takes on the cost of building these cars and doesn't get any money until the customers actually pick them up. Tesla tries to build vehicles for exportations at its Fremont factory and Gigafactory Shanghai, but the issue is this strategy results in Tesla's sales and delivery team having to handle significant volumes of vehicles to deliver toward the end of each quarter, which are called delivery waves or delivery pushes. Now, Elon has previously indicated that Tesla is aiming to reduce those waves since they put a heck of a lot of stress and strain on employees and sometimes can affect customer service. And sometimes there's so much pressure that Tesla actually brings in volunteers to help deliver the vehicles, which I think is pretty cool that people are willing to do that for a car manufacturer. I mean, I haven't heard of people volunteering to deliver any other model of car. Let me know if you have, but I think that's just a Tesla thing. Now, Elon's saying this scenario might finally end relatively soon. I don't personally believe him, but you never know. Last night, well, actually, by the time you see this video, a couple of days, Musk held a company-wide call with Tesla employees where he told them to expect a crazy end of the quarter, according to sources who spoke with Electric. Elon said this month will be the craziest month for deliveries Tesla will ever have. Like I said, I don't think that's very likely to be true. Production issues due to chip shortages and logistical issues due to bottleneck at ports as well as more recently natural disasters in the US have delayed deliveries for Tesla. 
Those issues will add to the usual strain at the end of a quarter delivery wave and will make the next few weeks extremely important and challenging in terms of deliveries for the quarter. The silver lining is that Musk claimed that it's not only going to be the craziest month for deliveries Tesla has ever had, but it will be the craziest month ever. Now, Tesla and Elon believe they're going to be better, keep, become better in the future at handling their logistics. So the plan is for Tesla to stop these delivery waves by Q4 2021 or Q1 2022. Now, this time frame also obviously coincides with ramp up of production at Gigafactory Berlin and also ramp up of production at Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. Now, if you're wondering, Tesla plans to be actually manufacturing, producing cars at Gigafactory Berlin by October this year, very soon, next month. To be honest, I think November is probably more likely, but if they do achieve October, that is fantastic. If you own the shares right now, if you own Tesla shares, good time to own those shares. I think we might find that Tesla has a few surprises up their sleeve over the next six months. Now, if Tesla can make low cars locally for Europe, 100%, telling the truth that this will be the hardest end of month delivery push for Tesla ever, and after this point, it will no longer be difficult. Are Tesla planning on delivery pushes, getting cars around the world, you know, being up, trying to get cars from China to Germany, China to France, China to the UK, China to Australia? You know, they're facing all these delivery issues. But right now, they're also facing what Tesla is saying the biggest challenge they've ever faced, which is semiconductor chip shortages. That's been a problem for the entire year. Now, if Tesla seemed to be thinking that their delivery issues are going to be solved, then I'm wondering, there's a lot of confidence here. I'm wondering if this means, suggests that Tesla is planning on making their own semiconductor chips. Now, as you know, Tesla prides itself on being vertically integrated. Now, it's not quite as vertically integrated as a company like BYD. That is true. See my BYD videos to learn about the integration, the vertical integration that goes on at BYD, which is very impressive. But Tesla are striving for that level of vertical integration, and I believe they'll definitely get there. But Right now, they don't make their own semiconductor chips. BYD does. That is the bottleneck for all automakers. I think, I believe it's very likely, Tesla will plan and plans on and has been working on making their own semiconductor chips. And that is one of the things I think Tesla will announce within the next six months. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.